Hey y'all, I'm Chris Vaughn and today in Chris Kitchen we are cooking up the first of a series I'm calling Restaurant Remakes, which basically will feature my version of some restaurant faves and classics. And first up we have Frachos. Yes, you heard that correctly. Frachos is basically a beautiful marriage of french fries and nachos. This meal is perfect for football season and my family is football fanatic. This dish is consistent of beautiful crispy waffle fries layered with ooey gooey queso topped with crispy golden chicken and drizzled with smoky sweet barbecue sauce and garnished with red onions and cilantro making it a country fried Tex-Mex feast. So let's not waste any more time. Let's just head into the kitchen and get this dish going. So let's start with the chicken. First we're going to clean our chicken and rinse it well with cold water. Yes mama said clean your chicken child and pat it dry and use paper towel to do that. Using as much chicken as you like, either boneless, skinless chicken breasts or thighs, it doesn't matter. Cut them down into bite-sized pieces and we will do a quick marinade on this. So we'll transfer those pieces into a bowl. In the bowl, we're going to sprinkle our chicken with some onion powder, a little cayenne pepper, some black pepper, some seasoning salt, garlic powder, and paprika for color, and a splash of my secret ingredient, Chinese cooking wine. Don't worry, the instructions are below. Then we'll toss that all together so all of our chicken is nice and marinated and everything is all even and then we'll set that aside. Now make sure to wash your hands. Now we'll do our garnish. All we're going to do for the cilantro is cut down the larger pieces, tear off the larger pieces, however you need to do. Just get the leaves, roll them all up and cut them down. Then the more you cut your leaves back and forth, making sure to keep your fingers tucked, okay? Um, the more you run your blade back and forth, the finer your cilantro will get. And you can make as much of this as you want because listen, it's your food child, okay? Then we're going to place all that into a bowl and prep our onion. I'm cooking for two, so I'm only going to cut my onion the width wise and I'm only going to use about a quarter of this onion. But if you need more onion, by all means, cut it lengthwise or you can use a whole daggum thing, totally up to you. Just be sure to cut, don't cut the ends off yet, okay? Remember the outer layer is what you want to remove that outer skin and then we're going to make some thin skinny slices across our onion and then we'll cross cut it trying to get some nice petite sizes. Then you'll just chop that down. Now look, as you can see mine did not get as small as I would like so I'm just going to run my blade just like I did the cilantro. I'm so happy it happened so I could show y'all. Just run that blade a little more and now you have the garnish. All of that is done. Now bring on the cheese please listen you can use that like store-bought queso stuff and that's fine like it's nothing wrong with that but if you have the extra time go ahead and make it it comes together so easily and you more than likely already have the ingredients you need in the refrigerator or the pantry and I'm gonna show you how to do it now here's how it's done using a cheese grater we will just grate up some cheese of choice you can cut it down if you want into small cubes I just prefer to grate it I feel like it melts a little faster in my opinion but just make sure some of your cheese is that american white or american yellow totally up to you because that's what's going to make your queso nice and creamy be sure to tap that grater and get all that cheese because look you work for that that's point okay now you in a dish cleaning hack if you need to clean your grater flip it upside down and then go in the same direction you went to grate your cheese this way you protect your fingers don't mess up your sponges or your dishes and all that good stuff now we're going to add some milk to a medium um, low heat saucepan and we'll add in our cheese some diced green chilies some taco seasoning and whisk it until it melts and everything is combined and keep it on low low heat and whisk occasionally to prevent your cheese from lumping or burning now it's time to fry up some waffle fries in some canola oil we're going to use that because it's heart healthy and it has a higher smoking point be careful when adding your frozen fries though because look we do not want no grease issues that grease is gonna get hot and crazy from the ice off of those fries and you can make your own fries but this one time i'm gonna use some store okay now <laughs> if once we're done with that we're going to just cook them according to package and then we'll set it aside and place it onto a wire rack and make sure you salt bathe them things because we need them to be seasoned okay now we're going to fry our chicken in the same oil we use to fry our french fries and we're just tossing 
um, our chicken in I basically just added some flour with the same seasoning I use for the chicken and then I'm just gonna place them into the oil one by one so that they don't clump and you may have to fry your chicken in batches depending on how much you have because we want crispy chicken not sweaty chicken okay make sure to always thoroughly wash your hands after handling raw meat I fried this chicken for about five to seven minutes and then I'm going to drain them on the wire rack just like I did the fries and guess what now it's time to assemble the fry chows. we're going to just pile this high layering fries queso chicken fries queso chicken and repeat until all of your fries and chicken are done top with queso drizzle with that sweet and smoky barbecue sauce and sprinkle on some red onions and cilantro and dig in and enjoy if you enjoyed today's recipe be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and make sure to turn on the notification bell so you can be among the first to know when I'm picking up the next recipe. I'll see you next week here in Chris Kitchen. Bye.